So we now have our final speaker. As you know, we've got a group of sixth form students here from Mulberry School for Girls. And I'm very delighted to welcome Zakia Begum to come and talk to us about body image and the definition of beauty. Beauty, B-E-A-U-T-Y. What does it actually mean? Good afternoon. My name is Zakia Begum, and I'm currently studying at Mulberry School for Girls, um, in, um, where I'm in year 12. Today, I'm here to share an exciting project full of intriguing work from Shape Your Culture campaign that runs at Mulberry and in many other schools. I'm currently writing an article on beauty for the zine that we are making. The purpose of our group is to encourage girls and young women to create the world that they want to see in a way that reflects and enriches their reality rather than negatively distort it. Shape Your Culture is here to empower and motivate people to show that culture can be something we create and consume. We want to show that small actions can have big effects and we aim to question the accepted norm. Beauty is more about choosing the right product. It's about what makes us unique. Everything has beauty but not everyone sees it. This is because they are simply blinded with this false consciousness of beauty that isn't real. The fact is that real beauty isn't about symmetry or weight or makeup. It's about looking life right in the face and seeing all its magnificence reflected in your own. People need to discover themselves rather than paint the picture outside. Beauty comes in all forms and age, weight or race shouldn't affect that. You should not be critical or realistic about yourself. Try to see yourself as a full person. Always remember, beauty isn't about having a pretty face. It's about having a pretty mind, a pretty heart and a pretty soul. Young women today are bombarded with millions of messages about how they must look in order to be accepted in society. It is socially constructed and it influences our norms of what is natural. We tend to adapt to fit in with society because the media entangles us to believe how we should be presented, adding fake eyelashes to add volume, styling our lashes with mascara to make our eyes stand out. We should want depth of character, not depth of lashes. This is why the media should not be suppressing and exploiting women's bodies. We all should support each other to stand tall rather than criticizing each other. What do you say to yourself when you look in the mirror? Are you really in your body? Do you own yourself or does it own do you do you own your body or does it own you? We venture into this world with so many expectations and peer community pressure that entangles and influences the decisions that we make in our daily life. There is a saying that everything is beautiful, but beautiful isn't everything. This means that there can be beauty found in all aspects of life. However, external beauty is not so much important as living your life. Is the ideal woman thin, blonde, blue-eyed, and tanned? Shouldn't they think too much or be too smart? Is that really the message we want them to hear? Rather than being plastic, putting on a mask, or posing as someone you want inside, carve your own identity. Be authentic. Play according to your passion. Create your own picture of yourself and focus on the beauty within yourself. Your good qualities, your kindness, your gifts, your talents, your generous heart, your love and service towards others. Should every girl want to look pretty, posing like mannequins while people walk past by? Well, we are capable of much more than being looked at. All the time and effort you spend trying to improve the outside, spend that time and effort working on the inside to make you the best person you can possibly be. Girls try and try to meet the ideal, unreal, 
flawless beauty. Why? Peer pressure that influences our world and society. There is a cost to beauty. It costs money, pain, time, and there is an emotional and mental cost of it as well. Millions of pounds are spent every day only to make our bodies perfect, to meet the perfect ideal woman that the media portrays. So many images we see of a woman have, has been digitally manipulated and photoshopped hundreds of time, um, times to get an ideal perfect woman. This really distorts our ideas of not only beauty, but also what is natural and normal. Regarding beauty and diet, the beauty industry spends a huge amount of money to influence and persuade us how we should be and the way women are portrayed in the media encourages us to spend money on beauty products. We learn to spend our time, money and energy enhances our faces before we leave our homes instead of understanding what we are worth. Also, if our pursuit of beauty hurts, then it's not right. When wearing high heels that cause pain, but the smile, but that smile on your face doesn't seem to embody it at all. Why? Why the pain? I mean, some become bulimic um, while others become anorexic or even obese because of the depression and stress around them. The beauty industry is ugly. So what is beauty? From here, now, and in this minute, I believe that beauty is construct, a constructed concept made real only by our cultures. Why, unfortunately, do mean many people still seek this kind of beauty? Just because they think that the only way they will be accepted is by the physical appearance. But are the values that the media broadcast correct? Does this beauty really exist? But unfortunately, in the, in, in the names of beauty, many end up losing, losing health, money, self-esteem, and their lives. As a result of this obsession, they lose focus, the direction of their lives. Women are capable of much more than being looked at. There is more than meets the eye. Why should we have to grin and bear it? Why the pain? Why can't we just live in a society where beauty doesn't offer you pain? Let's make it a world where beauty is the expression of the indivi individuality and not a cause of anxiety. Thank you. Well, wow. Um, we actually talk about beauty every single day, every single minute. Actually, um, is my eyes okay? Is my mascara, you know, is the depth of it is okay? I mean, like, is my lips glossy enough, you know? Um, yeah, it's actually quite a lot of pressure. I mean, you know, because the media portrays, you know, an ideal um, woman who doesn't actually exist, it's actually quite a lot of pressure that's been put on many, many girls you know, because they don't understand the fact that many images they see are actually photoshopped. And being aware of that actually does, you know, show a clear picture of what, you know, we are supposed to look like. I mean, it's not only about the way you um, look, it's actually who you are that defines you, your personality, I mean, your talent. It doesn't always have to be your looks. You know, a person can be really ugly, you know, from the outside. Uh, but, you know, your talent, your passion, um, the way you are can actually make you fantastic. Thank you.